All right, so today I thought I would do a rocket launcher with a kills death leaderboard. That's pretty useful, and the one in Roblox doesn't really work. So we're gonna fix it. Boom, there we go. So we got two kills and a death for each one. And here they go again. Bruh, no bueno. All right, let's go ahead and get started with that. Let's make a kills death leaderboard real quick so that we can use it in the game. So I'm gonna go to server script service, hit the plus, add a script, and then we'll call this leaderboard. And make this a little bit bigger. Most of you know how to do a leaderboard. So I'll just do local function, add board, player, and then we need to create the board itself. We'll say instance new, it could be a folder or a model. And the player will be the parent. So we're putting the board on the player. Now let's get the board and name it to leader stats. If that is not spelled right, the board will not work. All right, now we need two metrics. One will be kills, instance new, and that's gonna be of int type, right? Like ints are one, two, three, four. And the parent will be the board. So we're putting the kills on the board, the board on the parent. And then kills, let's give that a name. And we'll make that capital, kills. This part right here is what you see in the game. Now we can just duplicate this. And we'll copy it, control C, control V. I will make that deaths, right? Control C. Control V, Control V, but change that to a capital and everything looks good. All right, we need to add that to our player when they enter the game, but we're gonna do a few other things with the player too. So let's go ahead and get the game dot player service dot player added event, connect that to an anonymous function. Player will get passed in because that's the whole thing of the player added event. We'll call the add board, pass in the player, then we'll get the player character added event, connect that to an anonymous function, that character will get passed into that, I call it char, and then we need the humanoid from the character, so we'll say char, wait for child, humanoid, Make sure you spell it right because it won't error, it just won't work. It might error here though. So the humanoid.died event will get called when, will get fired when a character dies, when a player dies, right? Well, any character that dies that has a humanoid has a died event. So we're gonna get that, connect that to another internal function. And that's where we look for the creator tag to credit the person who killed us, right? So this is the person dying. So when they die, they're going to look for a Hume find first child creator tag, or I should say a creator on the humanoid. And that is gonna be the tag. It's gonna be an object value. All right, so what happens? They might not find it. So we'll say if tag, so it exists, ooh, we found it. And then I'm also gonna to check to see if the tag has a value, because sometimes it doesn't, especially on Roblox stuff. Sometimes they don't quite finish the code, and that's what happened with the rocket launcher, so we're gonna fix that. Now, in the tag, the creator tag pattern has the enemy player that caused the death of the humanoid. So the tag.value is the enemy player. Then we'll say eplayer.leaderstats, because they're gonna have a leaderboard too. We're gonna get the kills, the value of the kills, and add one to it. That's what that plus equals. Plus equals means get the old value and add one to it. And now to count the deaths, we're gonna get the player, right? This is the player that died. We're gonna get his leader stats, or her leader stats, and then we'll do deaths.value, plus equals one. Now this is gonna count only deaths that are credited. You can move it outside the if statement if you wanna get all deaths, including natural causes. And if you don't wanna count, if you accidentally killed yourself, 
you'll have to check to see if the enemy player is not equal to the player. Now let's grab our rocket launcher and make the modifications necessary for the kills death leaderboard. I'm on the home tab, go to toolbox, and we'll hit weapons. I'll search rock. There it is, rocket launcher. And this is the old Roblox rocket launcher. I like it, but there's a few little things we gotta change. So I'm gonna drag it in the workspace. Yep, we got four scripts. Okay. Let's open it up. So we're gonna open it up. Now kills death stuff and creator tag stuff is gonna be on the server, right? So this is the server script. If we open it up, we see a rocket script here. It's disabled where they're gonna they're gonna enable that whenever you do your shoot. You're gonna they're actually gonna clone a new rocket every time. We don't need to worry about that right now. We're gonna look at it in a second. But open the server script, right? So if we go down here, we see my player. That's the person who's shooting the rocket, right? That's good. We got my player, but it's not assigned to anything here. And we look at this. Oh, look, they're making the rocket, right? We create the rocket and once, once, and then clone it when the player fires. All right, that makes sense. So we declare the rocket here, and then we add a bunch of stuff to it. And we go down here. Oh, look at that. We got creator tag. They're adding the creator tag. And they're putting the player in the creator tag value. Oh, what's the problem with that? Well, look where the rocket is being created in relation to where the player is being assigned. There's no value on player. This fires before we get a player. The rocket launcher kills death creator tag doesn't work. And I don't know how they made that error. So I'm going to go ahead and search. I'm going to do a control F on my player. All right, that's the creator tag we got there. Unactivated. Well, that already is assuming that it's a sign, so it's not that. We're going to go down. Oh, look at that on equipped so when you equip the item my player gets a value unfortunately we create the creator tag before we equip the player i don't know how they could have done that but they did so a quick fix well i don't really like doing it this way but we can get our rocket and then there's a creator tag on the rocket this is the template rocket and then the creator tag value, we can equal to my player here. We know that it's gonna have a value here, right? We're gonna get the tool parent, which is the character. We're gonna get the player from the character. And then we're gonna get the player in this variable. We will assign the player to the value of the creator tag on the rocket. Now we should be good to go for our creator tag, but one note for people who want to do team stuff. They don't wanna hurt people on their team. If we go up here, oh look, I could have done the creator tag here while we're cloning the rocket too. It's fine where it's at though. But if you look on activated, you'll notice that they're getting the my player team color. And we do have a player here because on activated happens after the on equip. We're assigning the rocket clone a brick color of the player team color. So when we go to the rocket, let's take a look at the rocket. Oh, and if you want to increase your blast damage, it's on the rocket. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's make it let's make a 100. So we get one shot kills, right? It's a rocket. I think it should be one shot kill. But you can keep it 60 if you don't. Here's where we apply our tags. All right, so that's fine. We're destroying all anybody else's creator tag, and then we're putting new tags on every time we hit somebody. Let's go to on explosion hit. And I see down here, this is where we apply the tags. Up here, we are checking for team colors, right? Let's close our Explorer and our property window so we can see more. In here, we are checking to see if the player's team color is equal to the brick color. If it is, we return. So we are doing a team check in the server script. We assigned the rocket brick color, the team color, so we should be good with teams. This right here is interesting though. This player does not equal my player means 
your player is always going to be able to hurt themselves, whether team is in, teams are enabled or not. So if you don't want that, you should remove this right here. I like that. I like the fact that they could hurt themselves. I think we're ready to try this out. Let's go to our view, Explorer Properties. I'll go over to the rocket launcher. And I notice the rocket launcher is still in the world. I am going to move it to my starter pack. There we go. And with the test server selected, three players, I'll try three, hit the start. I'm going to pause the video because this is going to take like a minute or two. Test server started. Let's get our rocket launcher. Nice. So I got two kills and each one was given a death. Let's do it again. Bruh. All right, I thought that was pretty cool. And we figured out that we can kill ourselves, right? We can kill ourselves. Because of the code, I showed you where that was. Well, good luck with that. I will see you in the next video.